Thank you very much. Uh, our first order of business is to do our safety moment. Uh, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, Morgan to come up and please uh, welcome him as he comes give us his uh, safety moment. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the CSIR International Convention Center. My name is Morgan Mashangu. Please note, sanitizing stations are located in the foyer and all around the building. In the unlikely event of an emergency, an alarm will sound throughout the building. Trained responders will give instructions on evacuation. Stay calm, take only belongings that you can carry. Emergency procedure, walk in an orderly manner, do not run. Responders who lead us to an emergency exit, then to the assembly point, please observe one meter from other delegates and staff. General information, restrooms are available throughout the building. Please look out for signages. As this is a public building, please do not leave your valuables unattended. Wi-Fi information, free wireless internet access is available throughout the building. Please look out for signages. As this is a public building, please do not leave your valuables unattended. Please note that we have cameras all around the venues. Therefore, please be careful of the wiring on the floor. I thank you. Enjoy your time at the CSIR Convention Center. Well, good morning, colleagues, partners, and collaborators, and those that are present physically with us, as well as those participating through our online portal. I mean, who would have imagined five, 10 years ago that we would attend a conference at hybrid? And I'm sure sometime very soon in the future, we probably will be inviting some holograms into our presence. A welcome to the 16th High Performance Conference, National Conference for 2022. And I wanna say a special welcome to those that traveled from afar and especially those who chose this conference over the Soccer World Cup. Uh, for our international guests traveling to South Africa for the first time, and here also include those from Cape Town, who have landed in the capital city, you are in Pretoria, the intellectual hub of South Africa. And if you get the opportunity to explore this beautiful city, uh, yes, the Nelson Mandela statue is situated outside the Union Building. And my name is Mervyn Christophels, and I'll be chairing the opening session this morning. We are extremely excited to host all of you for the next few days. And we have prepared a high calorie feast that will nourish you, but not fatten you up. And this high calorie feast has been prepared around the theme of democratization of cyber infrastructure for sustainable development. Some of you are thinking, hey man, I'm in Africa, why is everything politicized? On the contrary, it was Andrew Feinberg in his critical theory of, of technology who wrote, what human beings are and will become is decided in the shape of our tools, no less than in the action of our statesmen and political movements. The design of technology is thus an ontological decision fraught with political consequences. The exclusion of the vast majority from participation in this decision is profoundly undemocratic. Today, we refer to democratization as citizen access. And so to explain the theme further, it's extending and expanding the use of cyber infrastructure to all who can create value. This underpins the realization of social and economic benefits of digitalization. This value creation has found expression in the African Union Digital Transformation Strategy for Africa 20, 2030, which states, the importance of technology for development and economic growth plays a central role in the attainment of all the SDGs. And in fact, for those who didn't know this, they go nine of the Sustainable Development Goals says, build a resilient infrastructure promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. This implies that without technology and innovation, industrialization will not happen. Concluding that digital transformation has become a pillar for economic growth and poverty. 
A taste of what you are in for, can be summarize then as a variety, mixture, range, and diversity. And this is made possible through panel tracks and community special interest groups, posters, micro talks, and exhibits. And let me add as well that this has only been made possible through partnerships. And here I want to give a, a special thanks to our diamond sponsors, Intel and HPE, and to our platinum sponsors, Dow and Lenovo, for their ongoing support. During the next three days, we'll have approximately 600 delegates that will participate in this conference. And some of them will be on the online portal as well. But I'm gonna challenge you to do two things for me that will contribute to the success of this conference. And these two things are the following. I want you to take something with you and I want you to leave something behind. Take something with you. Learn three new things over the next three days. Meet three new people over the next three days and share how to make the world a better place from the domain that you're in. Insights and expertise from your domain. Because, and the reason why I say this, in the article written in Making Sense of Africa's Emerging Digital Transformation, one of the futures that is proposed as an outcome of digital transformation is the following. It's a pathway to work towards leaving behind the seemingly old paradigms and create an entirely new one globally entangled experience and resource pool. Here, the use of technology, the democratization of information enables transnational innovation processes targeted at universal grand challenges. The future inherently becomes a global one. And with that, and with that said, I'm going to introduce our opening address speaker, Mr. Imran Patel, to the podium. Imran Patel. 